Hi. I'm going to read a story. How to be a lion. Written and illustrated by Ed Vair. The world is full of ideas. Big ones, small ones, good ones, bad ones. Something this, others think that. Some say there's only one way to be a lion. They say lions are fierce. If they catch you, they will chomp you. Crunch, crunch, chomp. They say a lion can't be gentle. Well, they haven't met Leonard. Leonard loves to walk by himself, feeling the sun warm his back and the grass under his paws. Some days, Leonard walks to his sinking hill. Sometimes he thinks important thoughts. Sometimes he daydreams. Somewhere in between, he humps quietly and plays with words, putting them together this way then that way, making them into poems. Some say, wait, lions are not gentle. Lions do not write poems. And if a lion met a duck, bad luck for the duck. Crunch, crunch, chump. But if Leonard met a duck, what do you think will happen? Now stop the video and predict what will happen next. Hello, said Leonard. I'm Leonard. Hello, said the duck. I'm Marion. I am waiting. I'm, I'm writing a poem, said Leonard. But I'm stuck. Will you help me? You're in luck, said Marion. I am a poetic duck. Together they <coughs> played with Leonard's poem until the words came unstuck. Leonard and Marion found they liked each other. Under the sun, in the long grass, they lay together. They played. They went for walks and had long meandering conversations and mixture of quacks and quiet roars. At night, they watched for shooting stars and made wishes if they, if they, they saw them. Do you think the universe has ages, quacked Marion. If it does, said Leonard. If it doesn't, said Leonard, will we fall out? <coughs> Together they are happy. They wish for nothing more than this. Some say that a lion should have chomped a duck by now. One day a pack a pack of fair lions came prowling 
around. What? What's going on here? They growled. Why hasn't this dog been chomped? This this dog is Marion," said Leonard. She's my friend, and nobody will chomp her. The fair lions came clo- close closer. We heard you're gentle. We heard you make poems, but chomping a duck, you've gone too far. The fair lions rolled. And roared. There's only one way to be a lion, Leonard. You must, must be fierce. Must I be fierce? Said Leonard. Must I change? They are wrong, Great Marion. And we will show them why. Leonard and Marion went to the sinking hill. They thought hard. After a while, Leonard hummed a serious hum, and an idea started to from <coughs> Marion quack. A serious quack. The idea grew. They put the words together like this, like that, building them into a poem. That made sense of what they thought. Finally, they were they were ready. They were ready. Leonard took a deep breath. Yo yo no yeah bro. I'll say this quietly. I need a roar to be heard. Heard. I can be a friend to a bee or a bird. You said I must change. I must chop Marianne. But chopping your friend is a terrible plan. Let nobody say. Say. Just one way is true. There are. So many ways that you can be you. If there must be a must, then this we must try. Why don't you be you, and I'll be I? Some say words can't change the world. Leonard says. If they make you think, then maybe they can. Is there just one way to be a lion? I don't think so. Do you? Bye.